Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode in our Maximum Mass Transit Challenge in City Skylines. First of all, I want to apologize, well, maybe not apologize, but explain you why these episodes are not as frequent. And it has mostly to do with the fact that uh, making videos takes a huge chunk out of my days that I could spend more productively, let's say, for my daytime job or my family. Just to give you a sense of the scope, on average, for every five minutes you see, I take about one hour. And that is mostly due to the fact that I edit a lot, trying to make things as entertaining as possible with as few downtime as possible. Now, it is quite unfortunate this series isn't running the best on my channel. What's actually working the best at the moment is Oxygen Not Included, and that is a game I also fancy playing a lot. So whenever I start a series and it's actually not picking up, YouTube uh, also tells me that people aren't choosing to watch this video as much. And of course, it's not going towards you, who actually is watching the video and supporting this series. Now, of course, I do fancy playing City Skylines, however, just playing it or actually recording something is totally different. For instance, I'm trying to find some time to play Cyberpunk at the moment and I already know this is not gonna work on my channel as well, so it's not worth the effort to actually put something together. I could just use that time to, you know, go along and play. So just know I'm gonna try to do my best to keep this series going, but for as long as it's not running as well, I cannot prioritize it because it takes too much away from my day. Imagine the 20 minutes episodes is taking 4 hours of my day, and then if the outcome on YouTube is undesirable, it wasn't really worth sacrificing so many aspects of my real life, including sleep sometimes. Sometimes I sleep less so I can record another video. But yeah, just know I'm not gonna just uh, wrap up the series immediately, but I might not produce as many episodes just when I see the time and that the effort is actually worth it. Obviously what you can do is support the video so it gets recommended more often. I don't really care if it is my subscribers who are watching the video or if it is anyone who comes across it. But in case series like this don't pick up on Steam, I cannot prioritize them for the reasons given. Anyways, with that out of the way, in the previous episode we have built this new industrial zone and of course not everything is going according to plan. Also because I did zone a lot, we only have one cargo axis. And probably another problem at the moment is we don't have enough people. But also I see a lot of those, not enough buyers for products. So I guess we are going to have to install another residential area as well as a commercial district. Now I thought the commercial district could actually go right here. Why the heck not? What I would want to do before actually zoning anything is maybe set up a bunch of pathways in order for people to have easier access. And we're gonna do that without a grid and we're gonna try to do that somewhat dynamically, which in turn is going to encourage people to actually walk. We have our tram line already going through there, so that should actually encourage people to take the tram in order to get to work or maybe to the metro station. Maybe add another one of those right there. Okay, that looks pretty interconnected. Uh, I think we could use one more here. Maybe another one right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see this coming along. I will take care of this uh, traffic issue. At the moment, I believe we have to initially wait a little bit for this to stop happening because of all the new buildings that are popping up. This is always sending a wave of trucks and everything. And sometimes it can fool you and you react too soon before actually waiting for the initial wave to be over. But anyways, let's freaking do this. I'm probably gonna make a small little park area here. So we are going to start with our shopping district in this area. Actually, let me change to the brush. We are going to add shopping here as well. Some more shopping here. I don't want to exaggerate maybe in the beginning. Hmm, let's do this little part here as well. And right here. After that, we are gonna wait for a little bit and see what actually happens with the demands and everything. We already have the metro uh, somewhere here. Yeah, the metro is right in this place. You can already see people are actually actively using it, no problem. And they can walk over, they can cross here, they can go into the shopping district, no problem. So the question is, are we going to fill the rest up with residential? That could be a good idea, to be quite frank. I mean, these guys are already upgrading like crazy, so that seems to be working fine. And the demand for commercial went down substantially. You know, I actually really like the idea of that. I'm gonna set up a residential district here as well. So all of that here is going to be residential for the time being. And I hope they're gonna start building and upgrading soon. 
Now the question is, are they going to need some services? I believe so. Uh, definitely a crematorium. Let's see, can I get this in here without destroying the pathway? That would be great. Also for the first time in this playthrough, I think I want to install a child health center. That's what it's called here. And maybe elder care. Uh, let me actually think, just to have that in the district here as well. Hmm. Nah, uh, I'm not sure we actually need that just yet. However, another thing we're definitely gonna need is a clinic that I'm gonna plot here at the main road. We might also want to go with a secondary fire station. I'm gonna set that up and police station, I'm not so sure. Maybe just one is gonna be enough. Where is the current police station? Over here. Yeah, I mean, technically this is still reachable, right? I think I'm gonna wait with the police station. However, what we're not gonna wait with is the school. We're gonna have a school right here adjacent to the rocks. Many children were actually lost here. It's a tragedy in this school. We might also want to go with a high school considering I would like to expand upwards and maybe build another residential district over there. And we could really use that high school here at the main road. I think I'm gonna set this up right away. I don't think, however, we're gonna need anything in terms of university. Also, check this out. We are at 44,000 weekly income. I really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and clean things up a little bit. And then we have to wait in order to let things develop a bit. Now, of course, we can clearly see our current problem at the moment is not getting into the train station, but it's getting out of there. And that is because we have many things. Oh, actually, people are spawning cars here. Not good. Let's check out where these bastards are actually going. So if we check this out. <laughs> ah, interesting. Okay, so they actually do go inside of the district. Maybe we can uh, shut down the rain for a little bit. It's already causing FPS issues. Of course, that is a huge problem. People spawning private cars here. I don't want that. We need to bring this over here. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna grab this park side gate and we're gonna bring it over here to the other crossing. And this also means we have to reroute the pathway here. Um, let me see, where was this actually? There we go. We're bringing this pathway over here to the other side. And now technically all of the private cars that they necessarily have to spawn, they're gonna spawn over here. Here. Okay, what's this? No, we still have cars spawning here and I believe it's from the people actually coming from the metro. They cross the road and then they come over here and spawn a car. Yeah, that is definitely something I would like to address, but you can see the pathways are actually worth it. A lot of people are choosing to just walk, which is absolutely fantastic. Okay, in this case what we have to do definitely is make this a bigger road. Let me actually see. Can we have a six lane road? No, not a one way. Let's do four lanes for now. And if we want to upgrade this, of course, this is not possible because of the metro station. Oh my gosh. What if I do something... Can I trick the game into upgrading this? I wonder. Just get this out of the way. Upgrade. And then move this back a little bit. Or then I'm gonna try to adjust this. Maybe add a nice little sweet curve and then keep on upgrading until we are at this corner. Now, technically, this metro station should still work, right? Yeah, it doesn't spew out an error. And of course, also some people choose to spawn a car in this place. However, this is now working much better, except we have so many people, of course, walking through that the cars always have to stop a little bit. Maybe just maybe we can improve the situation by actually setting up a traffic light here. Ah, no, of course, it's only making it worse because people can actually walk over the road while these guys have green because they don't go straight. So, never mind, stupid idea. We are actually still struggling with a lot of abandonment, but it does get better. I've been waiting for a long time now, well, a long time, just a couple of minutes, but we still have to do a lot better. I wonder if one way we could potentially solve this is by leading out the road into this intersection instead. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna have to destroy a few things. Let me actually get rid of this one for the time being, and then we're gonna do something like that or actually more extreme i would like to have uh, almost a roundabout this scenario actually could work out a little bit better since uh, people don't have to cross each other anymore uh maybe this is gonna be a problem still okay okay it's actually slowly clearing up for some reason people were still going straight or are still going straight most of the time Huh, that is mighty interesting, but we can see this is uh, much more fluent now. And that is because we don't have as many crossings right here. People don't have a reason to cross this. And since we have this curve now going on, people can go smoother and don't have to brake as much. 
Okay, I can potentially live with that. Let's check out the abandonment. What was your problem? There were no goods to sell. Well, that might have something to do with the traffic and the goods not making it there. Ah, look at that. Okay, the abandonment is still here, but it's much less now. You know, I think there's another thing we have to do. We have to upgrade this into a one-way road. I'm actually going to go back to my normal road that we had before. Let's maybe add a couple of trees. And I want this to be a one-way road. Yes. So let's actually go ahead and move this back a little bit. Maybe add a little curve there. Okay, this is still connected, but it's now a one-way road and they can still make it out of the district somewhere else. So that shouldn't be an issue. And now I just want to make sure that these guys only go here, right? And then these guys can either go there or there. So I'm just going to make use of traffic manager here a little bit. And look at that. That is helping me out very much. Right, this situation now seems much more reasonable to what we had before. And we can see most of the time the cars can actually get out of the train station pretty quickly. Alright, that's what I wanted to see. That means another 5 minutes or so of waiting time in order to see things develop. Just ignore all the icons for now. I'm sure we're gonna get this out of the way today. Well then, as promised, we don't have as much abandonment anymore. However, the traffic is still horrific and I believe we just need a second way to actually export the goods. It would be really great if we were only able to export the goods by actually getting another cargo station in the joint. The biggest issue we currently have going on in terms of actually placing another cargo station is obviously the sloped terrain. This is just way too steep. However, I believe if we use the move it mod in order to manipulate things a little bit, right now this road is basically elevated and therefore we have a little more space. Let me actually try to get this right. Okay, so now only the slope is too steep. What we can do now is go into the terrain tool, maybe use the flatten mechanic a little bit. So we can all go ahead and smooth this out a little bit. Come on, you can do this stronger. Yeah, there we go. And now, theoretically, slope is still too steep. Okay, I'll be right back once I get this sorted. Ah, voila, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so the cars can now conveniently, you know, turn around here, go into the cargo station. And in this case, what we can do for now is just follow the terrain a little bit. And we want to make sure we cross the river maybe at this point. We just cross right over and then we are going to do another devil's triangle. So one is going to go in here and then another route is going to go into here. Uh, let's see, can we get this right? Approximately like that. Yeah, that should work out. But then this also means we might potentially get rid of that or even better, make this a one way. Yeah, I think I'm going to upgrade this to a one way and it actually needs to go into the train station. I'm actually not even sure that is absolutely necessary. Maybe I'm just gonna leave it two ways. Yeah, I first have to observe what people actually are doing. So essentially now we should have a cargo station that is only being utilized for internal affairs, uh, which actually means we have to change the direction here or even take this completely away. Okay, we now have our first cars actually utilizing the second station. That is a good sign. Uh, let me wait until everyone has recalculated their routes. I'm also gonna despawn a couple of these cars. Okay, somewhat we are improving the traffic that is coming from this direction. However, this could be a new problematic intersection. Maybe I built it too close and we should have built it somewhere there. By the way, another thing that I did in between the clips is I removed the connection to this road. I think that helped out a lot too. Yes, okay, patience. I mean, it still looks horrible here, but everything is getting better. Especially this road is now completely clean. How about the abandonment? It didn't return on a full scale. However, now my trains are clogging up again and it is because... Ah, okay, you can see this guy wants to go to the left and this guy is waiting for this guy to actually move out of the way. So I believe what we have to do is get a little more creative with our trains. I want to go ahead and make this a tad longer, then join into this guy. And then you are going to join right there. Okay, now observe again for a little bit. Get this train out of the way. Thank you very much. Uh, what's going on here? Something is wrong. You have to go and you have to go. Okay. Yeah, this might work out much better. Now we have the actual space for a train in here. Okay. Though it's still a problem if they want to leave. What if we actually made a direct connection to this? Uh, okay, looks like I can at least get out of here and then we move into this guy. I know right now this is looking uh, really pathetic, but I just have to know which configuration is actually going to work for me. 
Okay, looking much better, except some trains are freaking out in... Yeah, look at that. <laughs> what, what are you doing, man? Anyways, what I would like to do is take this entire rail and then move it up with a bridge. Hmm. I mean, right now we technically don't need as much with this rail. We can just lead it straight through. So in this case, you join this rail. That should work out as well. Yeah, this is still a problem. I cannot have trains waiting in this intersection. This is just not working out for me. I need at least a little bit more space. Let me try it like this. There's still this space where I can see trains actually getting stuck if they cannot go through this station quick enough. But since this is a dead end now, this might work out much better. Okay, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and change a couple of things. For instance, right here, I would like this to be a tunnel so we can lead all of this rail underground. Let's actually try that. I want you to go underground at this point. Oh my gosh, that's not what I wanted you to do, but I guess we can fix it later. We want to move over here and then join up with this guy, hopefully getting out of the tunnel. Wait, how? What? That is not what I wanted to see. Man, game, help me out a bit. Want to go underground already at this point and join up with you. Okay, that is much better. And here at this point, it's actually also acceptable. This is going to allow me to add another road on top of the mountain where we're going to build something probably the next time and the abandonment actually returned. Another problem I can see is the garbage. Maybe this is just, you know, overwhelmed at the moment. It doesn't look like it's on its limit though. However, I'm still gonna add another incineration plant to get this problem out of the way. All right, guys, at this point, I would like to wrap up the episode. Let me know what you think about the situation and the standing of this series. Uh, would you like to keep supporting it? Please don't forget to leave a like, maybe even share the series, the first episode. And if we can turn this around a little bit, I'm also willing to prioritize the series again. Now, I know it's also dependent on me. Uh, another option what we could do is, for instance, make shorter episodes, but have them more frequent. I, I don't know if you're into that. But yeah, somehow we have to tackle this problem. Just rest assured, I'm not gonna give up on the series. I'm gonna try to achieve my goals, which is going to be approximately 100k people in the city and approximately 10k or 15k using public transport per week. That would be my desirable outcome. Now I just see we ran into the same train issue we <laughs> actually started with. Yeah, it's this train right here that doesn't come out far enough. Hmm, we have to connect this in a different way. Let me try this again. Freaking rain. So I think what I want to do is another little twist. Something like that. Just give us a little extra space. And now technically this should work out much better. If you go out of the way, what are you going to do? Wait, wait, wait. You have to go as well. Okay, this could actually work out. Now we have the space for one cargo train in here. Mm -hmm. Can you please do something? Let me just get that out of the way quickly. No, we still don't have enough space. This has to move even further. Oh, geez. It's gonna get really funky now. Uh, let's see. Uh, we still don't have the space for an entire train until the intersection. It is important that they actually stop before the intersection. Like that okay this could work out just about okay i'm gonna leave it be at that um let's have a look at the traffic again i think we're clogging up again hmm. yeah still no it's oh my gosh not enough buyers for products okay so we do need more shopping yeah we definitely are gonna install another area on top of here including a shopping center i might actually be tempted to remove the shopping center in this district and then use a different cargo station to get up there so a couple of problems still to tackle in the next episode, no problemo. So yeah, I'm really sorry if you are generally disappointed in the series and that maybe the quality suffers a little bit because I'm, I'm really willing to invest a lot of time in my videos. But I also want the series that I produce to go somewhere and not let other series that are more successful suffer in the process. I hope you can understand that somewhat and that this might be a less frequent series in case it never picks up again. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for understanding my situation. Have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.